They dominate the skies like silent predators, each one crafted not just for speed, but for survival and power. From the dusty airfields of the 1950s to the stealth hangars of the 21st century, Israel's fighter jets have evolved from modest beginnings into world class machines that have redefined aerial warfare. The Israeli Air Force's journey through technology, combat, and innovation is nothing short of breathtaking. At the heart of this transformation are 12 jets that stun the world, each a symbol of how far a small nation can go when necessity meets creativity. The F-350i-80 sits at the top of that legacy, sleek and almost invisible to radar, its stealthy surfaces absorbing signals and hiding its presence until it's already too late. Inside, its cockpit looks like a futuristic control room dominated by digital panels and a helmet display that lets the pilot see through the aircraft itself. The Adder's performance is staggering. It cruises past Mach 1.6 with precision strike capability, aided by artificial intelligence systems that merge information from satellites, drones, and ground radar into one seamless feed. Safety is built into its DNA, Automated defenses and countermeasures can respond faster than any human could. It costs over a hundred million dollars per jet, but for Israel, it's more than a machine. It's insurance against surprise and a message of technological supremacy. Right behind it stands the F-15I Ram, a twin-engine monster built for deep strikes and long-range missions. The Ram's exterior exudes raw power, while its interior features dual seats for the pilot and weapons officer. Surrounded by digital flight controls and targeting systems customized in Israel. With a top speed over Mach 2.5 and the ability to carry 20,000 kilograms of weapons, the ROM is a flying fortress. Its safety systems include triple redundant flight controls and defensive radar jammers that make it incredibly hard to bring down. At around $90 million per aircraft, it's one of the most formidable strike fighters ever deployed in the Middle East. The F-15 Baz, an earlier variant, shocked the world decades ago when one returned safely to base missing an entire wing, proof of its rug design. It has dominated the air since the 1970s with a perfect combat record, capable of outclimbing and outmaneuvering most adversaries while providing unmatched reliability. Moving further down the line, the f 16 i Sufa shows Israel's mastery of adaptation. Its aerodynamic single-engine body, combined with conformal fuel tanks and Israeli radar, turns it into a precision tool for both short and deep missions. Inside, its digital cockpit glows with multifunction displays that let pilots toggle between dogfight and bombing modes instantly. The Sufa's agility and speed, reaching Mach 2, give it the edge in desert combat and close air support. It's a $50 million jet, but its real power lies in how Israeli engineers tailored it to their environment, optimized for low level strikes and electronic warfare in dusty, hot conditions. The story of Israeli jets cannot exist without the Mirage Athur, a sleek French-made Delta wing legend that redefined the nation's air power in 1967. With its knife-like design and blistering Mach 2 speed, the Mirage became the hero of the Six-Day War, achieving total air dominance within hours. Its interior was simple, analog, and almost bare by modern standards, but in the hands of skilled Israeli pilots, it became unstoppable. The Mirage al success inspired Israel to produce its own version, the IAI Nesher, secretly built after France imposed an arms embargo. The Nesher mirrored the Mirage's design, but incorporated locally made components proving that Israel could sustain its air fleet even under international isolation. Then came the IA Kafer, the first fully Israeli designed jet born from necessity and ambition. The Kafer took the Mirage frame, replaced its heart with a powerful American J-79 engine and added Israeli electronics, turning it into a Mach 2 interceptor with remarkable precision. The cockpit was minimal yet reliable, 
with improved radar and targeting. The KFIR's durability and cost efficiency stunned the global defense market, selling to other nations and even used by the U.S. Navy for aggressor training. The price was around $10 million, but its legacy was priceless. It proved that Israeli engineers could create competitive fighters independently. From these designs emerged the dream project known as the IAI Lavi, a fourth generation jet that promised to make Israel a global aerospace powerhouse. Its exterior was futuristic with forward canards for extreme maneuverability and its glass cockpit was filled with digital displays and flyby wire systems that rivaled the world's best, lightweight, agile, and built for both air combat and ground strikes. The Lavi was a marvel. Safety systems reduced pilot workload, making flight smoother and more intuitive. But in a controversial decision, the project was canceled due to cost, around 30 million per aircraft and political pressure. Still, the technologies developed for the Lavi later fed into Israel's drone and avionics industries, proving its value beyond production. The Phantom F-4 Kurnaus joined Israel's ranks as a powerhouse during the Cold War, large twin engine and versatile, it was used for bombing reconnaissance and interception. The cockpit was complex but efficient, allowing both the pilot and radar officer to coordinate missions deep inside enemy airspace. The Phantom's speed of Mach 2.2, combined with heavy payload capacity, made it a strike workhorse. It was also incredibly resilient, with strong armor and a safety record that earned it respect even among opponents. Each one cost roughly $25 million, and they served for decades before being replaced by more modern designs. The Douglas A-4 Skyhawk, known locally as Ayat, may not have been supersonic, but it was deadly in its simplicity. Small, light, and easy to maintain, it became the backbone of Israel's ground attack missions for years. Its cockpit was basic, yet the jet's reliability under pressure made it invaluable. Pilots loved its agility and its safety systems, while simple, saved countless lives in high-risk missions. Priced around $3 million, the Skyhawk became a symbol of cost-effective power, proof that small can still be deadly. The Mystery AV represents the birth of Israel's jet era. Its smooth mid-wing design, moderate speed, and rugged frame made it the perfect learning platform for Israel's young air force in the 1950s. Although subsonic, its accuracy and reliability made it an early legend. Cheap at $2 million, it set the stage for everything that followed. The Oregon came even earlier, a compact French fighter that gave Israel its first taste of jet combat during the Suez Crisis. Its sturdy build and ease of maintenance helped form Israel's early air doctrine, teaching pilots the fundamentals of modern air war. Without these early jets, the later successes would never have been possible. Then there's the IAI Namer, a little known prototype based on the KFIR, developed to test how older airframes could be upgraded into next generation machines. With new avionics, a stronger engine, and advanced flight stability systems, it proved that Israeli engineers never stopped innovating. Although it never entered production, its estimated cost of $15 million reflected its sophistication. Across all these aircraft, safety and innovation are constant themes. Israel's air fleet doesn't just rely on imported technology. It adapts, rebuilds, and reinvents, whether it's the F-35I's AI-driven defense, the F-15's battle-hardened durability, or the LAVI's futuristic vision. Each jet represents an evolution in both engineering and survival strategy. Together, they form a timeline of progress from metal and analog dials to digital glass cockpits and stealth coatings that make entire squadrons disappear from radar. The Israeli Air Force's philosophy has always been to achieve maximum effect with minimal resources, and these jets are the perfect embodiment of that idea. From the Mirage's thunderous speed to the Adir's silent invisibility, Israel's skies tell a story of transformation. 
from survival to dominance. These 12 aircraft didn't just shock the world because of their technology, but because of the determination behind their creation. They symbolize resilience, adaptation, and the pursuit of aerial superiority in one of the most contested airspaces on Earth. Each design, each cockpit switch, and each radar ping carries decades of lessons learned through real combat. Together, they remind the world that when innovation meets necessity, even a small nation can build machines that redefine what it means to rule the skies.